Now, we know that there's so much focus on the United States, uh, many people believing that one side was pro-Christian, the other side was more on this, you know, the direction of evil, pro-Satan. Um, but, you know, you have to look at the oath of allegiance, and I think we better, uh, you know, just be very direct on this. It's as simple as the words that are in the oath to become an American citizen. Uh, the words are right here. I hereby declare on oath that I absolutely entirely renounce and abjure all allegiance and fidelity to any foreign prince, pontitate, state, or sovereignty of whom or which I have heretofore been a subject or citizen, that I will support and defend the Constitution and the laws of the United States of America against all enemies, foreign and domestic, and that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, and that I will bear arms on behalf of the United States when required by the law, that I will perform non-combatant service in the armed forces of the United States when required by the law, that I will perform work of national importance under civilian direction when required by the law, and that I will take, ob and I will take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, so help me God. Well, you better need God for help when you've sworn that, because you just declared war on Jesus Christ. They mention there that you can't have any fidelity to any foreign prince, and Jesus Christ is the Prince of Peace, and he is not of this world, so his kingdom is foreign to the United States. So absolutely, how could any God-fearing believer in Jesus Christ in the United States miss this? You better read this over, even though you may have supposed been born on the soil there and you never really said the oath, upon you acting as an American, you just took that on. And therefore, you are willing to absolutely be an enemy of God and of Christ. So it goes much further than what was said there, but uh, that's clear enough. Um, I didn't make this up. This is the oath that Americans are abiding by, even though as again, they may have uh, not come in from another country and then had to swear this oath, but by acting as an American, they're in, you know, coherence with this.